and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Victor Heimer to finish out our rank up day. Uh, this deck is one that I you know put together, but it's you know very similar to other decks we've played before. But I wanted to play Victor with Glorious Evolution again, and of course Heimer is a great other champion to play with. Um, with that because you know Heimerdinger is going to be making turrets and uh, you know this you know like they're all tech now with Glorious Evolution so they work really well together so that's kind of the thinking is like all right we're going to play Victor Heimer Glorious Evolution so how do we accomplish that and so I want to have lots of other created cards to go along with Victor so of course we're going to be playing Conchologist, Pharaoh's Financier, Loping Telescope right lots of bodies that we can put out there and create cards Otterpus, Trinket Trade everything's created cards for us so hopefully we're leveling up Victor pretty fast. We're also going to be playing Lecturing Yordles because they're going to be creating the Poison Darts. Um, again, good removal uh, to go along with creative cards for Victor. Um, so at first, we, we tried this a little bit yesterday, and it didn't go so well because we had some of like the slower stuff that um, kind of took too long and, and uh, we didn't have time for, you know, like Flash of Brilliance and um, Pokey Stick, like Pokey Stick wasn't killing stuff. And so we put in some better removal spells uh, with Sump Fumes, Thermogenic Beam, like that helps us kill Zeds and Poppies and things like that that like Pokey Stick just wasn't killing. And so yeah, so no Pokey Stick in here because we got better removal options. No, um, you know, other cards I'm not playing. I'm not playing Aloof Travelers because, you know, like we're playing Lecturing Yordle, Victor, we already have good fours. Um, I want to have a low curve. And no, no, like hidden pathways, right? Like that's a card you always see in these kind of decks. But I just don't think you have time to just sit back and just spend mana just to draw cards when everything's going to be creating cards anyway. We don't really need card draw because you know, like we're gonna have plenty of top end um, and just plenty of just cards in our hand all the time because everything's just replacing itself. So I think you want to just keep on using your mana to affect the board, right? Like we we spend mana to play a loping telescope that essentially draws a card, right? It makes a card, and then we spend mana to use a removal spell. So it's basically just like bodies, removal spells, and then good top end with our champions and glorious evolution. So uh, bypassing card draw for impactful cards. So let's see how it does. So we're gonna go, go take it on over to ranked. We're gonna go play our five games with Victor Heimer. Hopefully we get a 4-1. You know, like maybe we can keep this 4-1 day going. All right, another Piltover deck. So we're facing Jace. Man, it's kind of tough to mulligan Minimorph against Jace. But I think I'm going to. You know, it's just, it's Minimorph, right? It's a six mana card. It could be good later on against a champion, but not something that we're, that we're going to want to start out with. And I sent Mystic Shot back, because that doesn't kill their champions. By the time we play our six cost spell, it's going to be later on in the game, so like we can we can wait a little bit for that. All right, not very good options. Take Trail of Evidence. Trail of Evidence does make a creative card for us, and who knows, it could be something good. I really like Hextech Anomaly that just can give you access to like other cards that you wouldn't expect. However, like I should maybe be just taking Shock Blast because like they're probably going to be just like a deck filled filled with three threes like that. And so good chance I should just be taking Shock Blast. But Hex Hextech Anomaly is really good. See, so this is, you can just look at our hand already right now. Like, this is why we're not playing any, like, hidden pathways. It's like, we're never going to run out of cards. <laughs> you know, we don't. Sure, we don't have things that specifically say draw, but we have so much card card creation. This is where the magic happens. So the other thing about having all this card creation is it makes it makes it a difficult deck to play because you know just think of all the options that we have every single round we have lots of options available and so it does make it a, a difficult deck to play so now we know that they're not going to play a six plus cost spell this next round so that's good 
If I would have taken the Shock Blast, this would be a good Shock Blast round for us. I was just going to take Otterpuss, but you know what? Purple Berry Shake is actually pretty enticing. Now I'll take Otterpuss. I, I want to try to make one of their, like, six-cost spells cost eight. Right? Like, they have, like, a Shock Blast or something like that. Like, make that cost eight. Atrocity costs nine. Then again, I'd, like, know to play around Atrocity. Maybe it's just better to make Vile Feast cost 4. So I waste 1 mana, they waste 2. It's an awesome day for progress. Maybe I'm supposed to take those assembly workers. Like, that's a. You know, those 3 3 bodies can be pretty nice. Oh, hey, Remembrance. Remembrance is cool. Yeah, Remembrance is cool. Wow, and they're just passing? You will be scoured from this land. Now. Yeah, I wonder what they have. Like uh, they graphic. they going for glorious evolution or uh sorry, sorry, uh, like ruination or something like that? Like So I don't have Pharaoh's Financier anymore for my Iterative Improvement, but we do still have Conchologist. We'll just kind of see what happens. It's looking like we can take a round off for that Glorious Evolution. Some one one spiderlings. So what am I worried about? Like they play, you know, one of their other two champions this round also, and then I have five mana. So either of our champions are going to be very good if we can find a champion. I guess if I was just going up, I guess if I was just focusing on burning them out, I'd have a good amount of mana to do that. All right, they want to pass. I'll pass. Let's let's reset the mana. Okay, Heimer. Um, I'll go and lead with you first, though. Okay. Pretty poor. Pretty poor. What wondrous discoveries await below? Eminently logical. So Heimer sees itself, so now I'm already at two power of tech for leveling up Heimer. Okay, never mind. Alright, so this is going to be one, two, three, four cards to play here. Okay, I think that's enough. You know, basically, like, should we Mystic Shot also to make another body? And I don't think we have to. I like Flash of Brilliance. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. So they still have five mana. You best believe I don't play. It's going to be tough for them to stay alive this round. You know, Augment's a real thing. So if they go Withering Mist 
And okay, just oh, okay, just two mana vile feast. So I want to get all the bodies in play first. So we get as much augment as possible. Yep, that'll do. GG's. We're one and up. Okay, Poppy Zed. This one's tough, right? Like, if they have a really good hand with those champions, and they are difficult to deal with, so. Alright, Mystic Shock can help out against the Zed. I mean, I don't think I keep many more. Iterative Improvement's gonna be a little expensive. But many more, if you know, can stop one of those champions. Alright, so we get Minimorph back. We go, we go, we go. Four cards and strike. Block? Too scared. So they're pretty obviously keeping a two mana spell up. Okay. So the main question is, you know, if I want to save, I think I think I'd save the Mystic Shot honestly. So I think I just tried Poison Dart. Okay, or that's a thing. Um, I guess that's a thing. Oh, why'd I do that? I could get a second poison dart. What am I doing? Yeah, what am I doing? Okay, so the Twin Disciplines cost four. They're kind of slamming that down like they have another two mana card. I won't make them waste that other two mana card. I don't know if waste is the right word. Probably not. Okay. before I can play that. Yeah, they have a rally. This is, if I do this, this is me taking, I guess, one, two, three, four, five, six. I take six elusive, and they can just kind of open attack and do six again, but I guess I have mini morph. Other option is just poison dart, block, block with these things. You're slow. Like poison dart, and then thermo beam after combat. Not kill Zed, but kill a young witch. I need to do this. The order. That's so good. On, so we take six. Down to six. And if they have Rangers Resolve, we're in trouble. Wow, 
Wow. And I had a good hand too. I had a good hand too. I, I messed up the, my round four with my prank, but I had a good hand and just didn't matter. All right, well, looks like we're facing Diego. All right, we're definitely keeping Mini Morph for sure. And I guess we'll send you back too. I kind of like Otter Puss in this matchup though. You know what, let's keep you. I like. You know, like, this kind of matchup, I want to know what's in their hand, because they have all the different tricks that keep their Viegos alive and stuff like that. I want to know what's in their hand. And also making things cost two more. That's also really beneficial. So I, I like Otterpus. Um, Moonglow for my champion, or Called Shot to draw a card and make a Parallel Convergence. Let me set up Moonglow with the champion. He said, what, what, Viego? You just see Minity? Oh, Flash of Brilliance is great with Heimer, though. But I like how the Otter puts his two creative cards for Victor. Alright, so they waste three mana. That's good. Yeah, see, cards like Syncopation. Like that kind of stuff that's just saving their champions. That's the kind of stuff that I want to have cost more mana. I lose out on a hex core upgrade. I could deny, nopify. It's just hex core upgrade. New materials, new Sparrow says, is it weird to say I want Trinket Trade nerf to not have Otterpus as an option? No, I mean, that's that's not weird to say, that you just want it to just be a random spell. So it's at five out of seven. Victor's at 6 out of 7. Alright, we can make that 7 out of 7. So they still have syncopation. So they syncopation the four two. Hmm. You could also just use like twin disciplines. Man, Diego is so hard to to, to beat. I guess I could just pass and mini morph. Ooh, okay. So it's that two out of... Now it's at three. All right, I'm happy with the pass. 
We'll go next round. That sounds good to me. Now I could just hit Spell Shield again. Haha, <laughs> and it did. Thank you. Like, is it worth throwing away Victor to kill this Thresh? I kind of... I kind of think so, because this Thresh is super annoying. Because this Thresh can turn into a Viego, and Viego wins. Burn deck. Burn deck OP. Burn deck OP. GG's. And we 2 and 1. Darkness control. Today's like control day. All right, that's all. It's kind of all we're facing. I guess we I guess game 1 was Poppy Zed, so that wasn't a control deck, but Today's kind of control day. Let's keep our hand. Do we want to send Lecturing Yordle back? We could probably send that back. I like Mystic Shot against Twisted Catalyzer. They don't have the one six card. All right, good. To the world, hello. Yeah, but that's a problem. Vagar is always a problem. Make that thing cost a little bit more. So if that's the plan to stop Victor, it will cost him. I can see just attacking with everything else and just, yeah, just get some damage in. Cool, cool. Kill the Vagar. Vagar still broken though. I help when I can. Shut up when I can. Man, Pharaoh's financier just makes mini morph. That's pretty good. Hmm. True shot barrage or hextech anomaly. Both players draw two. 
I could Poro Cannon, I could discard the Hexcore upgrade and just get two Daring Poros, but I think we'd build over Peacemaker. Yeah, we could try, that's kind of the plan, turn everything into Minities. I could have waited till they. Okay. I was gonna say I could have waited till they attacked. Ooh. Man, this opens up the opportunity for them to. Well, we just gotta do it. But it opens up the opportunity for them to drop champions. They had. Yeah, Great draw. progress day I I I, <laughs> I kind of want to take this glorious evolution obviously it's one of the two we don't need to give it all um I kind of want to take that glorious evolution but I guess I it's progress day shut up when I can a lot of darkness out there let's make some of our own no I don't I don't know what percentage the question was, uh, do you know what percentage of players are in each rank? No. I don't I don't know if that's information that's been uh, given out at all. So if it has been, I don't know. Boom. Darkness and light. So the, we've gotten rid of two Vagars, so we have to be worried about the third Vagar, or like a, or like a seven mana card that makes a Vagar. Vagar costs four. They would have like no mana left. Alright, so that levels up Senna. Obviously, those just trade. Hold on! My field of rush is not going to be a field of rush after this round. Oh, you cost zero mana. I was like, I was like, is this even worth spending a mana on? Because we're going to want a progress day next round. But yeah, never mind. So we will have enough mana for progress day and uh, many more atrocity. You could say I got a life with. Thing is fast speed now. 
And it's what, deal five? Man, we have so many options here. Wait on progress day, I guess. No champion. So now I can either progress day or iterative improvement. We can also iterative improvement, make it eight power, and then atrocity do eight to them. That actually sounds pretty good, but I guess oh they could have the three mana turn it into a one six. Couldn't they? Maybe they're just progress day. Can things have double augment? Is that possible? No? Okay. So this all this does is minus one cost again. I'm sad things can't have double augment. It's an awesome day for progress. Gonna do six damage. So they found they found the third Vagar. You know, that was the card they drew drew this round. So they drew all three Vagars in the top 19 cards of their deck. Top deck like mini morph. Long road ahead. Mm, never mind. Ready to fire. Could take it. So close. Yeah, they drew five champs in the first 19, 19 cards. They drew five champs. Should have got my third. I could have got a third mini morph earlier. I think that Hextech Anomaly, you know, playing that Dragon's Rage when I did. I don't know, maybe I should have held on to it. Need them to draw a puff cap. Why didn't they draw a puff cap?
That second mini morph they had for my Heimer really hurt. I don't know. I should keep that probably for Leviathan later. Yeah, they had five champs top 19. Um, but then, yeah, they had the two mini morphs also because you. Because remember, what, like, we made that one mini morph cost 10, and I played my Heimer, but then they had a second mini morph for that Heimer. For yeah, they played, they played well. Played a creative card, so does that count as a creative card? I mean, I guess, guess I just take that. I mean, I don't like these other ones. I don't, I don't really like Moon Glow against a Pokey Stick deck. Okay, it does count itself. Lecturing Yordle pretty good. So this one three kind of checks the lecturing yordle. I guess Pokey Stick. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. So Victor's still only at two. I know it feels like we've done more than that. Good card. So can we take the round off and play Glorious Evolution right here? I think so. We'll still be able to play like Otterpus and Prank. everything else much better. Uh, well, now playing Otterpus doesn't, isn't very smart against Poison Dart. Wait till after Heimer for prank. Oh, let's just prank right now before. Minus one power and can't block. Doesn't really seem like too much of a nerf to that card. Even at Lin 
So assuming they want to play Leviathan this round, you know, we'll have be able to play this, have many morph. I get the 5-1, which I'm still playing. Obviously, they can kill the 5-1 with Poison Dart, but, you know, like, we're still playing it. It's fleeting. Like, there's no reason not to play it. Alright, so they're going for Ravenous Flock instead. So some fumes is okay, but you know, like, we, so I could like rummage away whatever I man, like whatever I create with both of these, and draw two new ones. I think I like that. The serpent's not bad though. I could also silent shadow seer hit him with an elusive, and then make a new copy, and then get rid of the new copy. That's a little enticing. Yeah, Silent Shadows here with, with Augment. Probably forces them to use a removal spell on it. So they're still sitting with 8 mana, they got 8 mana Minimorph. I can also discard Aftershock. So I don't want I don't want to play Victor and then they mini more Victor right away. That's true, everything else would have been discounted, but I just thought that they would just kill the, the Victor immediately. Yuck. How's impact a keyword? I just don't love whatever attacks. Yeah, Death Lotus definitely could be scary. So we're gonna make them discard Mini Morph. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Ooh, got rid of a Leviathan. How about that? So that's two Leviathans gone? I don't know. No materials, no improvements. Yeah, so playing the mini morph would take up like their entire round. Wish we could go wider than six. <laughs> Up yet. Oh, you're only at two. All right. 
All right, we'll do some attacking. Everything's lethal, so they're going to have a couple of removal spells, which we know. We know these two cards over here are basically dead. All right, very good. And there we go. GGS. All right, so in a three and two, so another winning record. So we got all three winning records. Couldn't quite get that other four one, but that's all right. Uh, I definitely, you know, could have played the darkness control matchup better. Uh, we also did have an opponent that, you know, drew five of their six champs in their top 19 cards, but that's going to happen. But whenever you play a long game like that, and you make all those decisions. I'm sure there's, you know, go back, look at it. You know, I'm sure there's plenty of points that we could point to uh, to play better. But I like this deck list a lot. You know, it's fun to play Victor, Heimer, Glorious Evolution. Um, you know, it, it so didn't spend any time drawing cards, as you could see. But we have lots and lots of ways to create cards to make up for it. And good removal. I was very happy with Aftershock, Sump Fumes, Mystic Shot, Thermo Beam. You know, good removal spells. And even the Iterative Improvement played pretty well. So, cool little deck here if you're looking for something different. If you want to play a triple Glorious Evolution deck that's not like the Fizz combo elusive version, um, you know, with Shell Folk and stuff like that, if you want to do something different. Uh, Shell Folk is definitely a card you could play also. You know, if you want to be playing Curious Shell Folk, feel free to do that. So that could go in over like some, some Lecturing Yordles uh, or like over like that Iterative Improvement or something like that too, if you want to fit in Shell Folks. Go ahead, you know, do whatever you want. <laughs> All right, but anyway, that's going to be it for Victor Heimer. So as uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this glorious evolution control deck. Let me know in the comment section. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.